If you want to know more about leverage trading or if you don't know how it works, then this is the perfect video for you. Leverage trading is like trading, but way higher risk reward. You can make a lot of money with a little money, but be careful, you can also lose a lot of money. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can leverage trade, where you can leverage trade, and what my strategy is, because there is a lot of money to be made with this. And especially in the bear market, it's good to stack up on some dollars. If you like that content, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, if you like the video and let's not waste any time let's get right into this first of all if you have no idea yet what is leverage trading in crypto trading leverage refers to using borrowed capital to make trades leverage trading can amplify your buying or selling power allowing you to trade larger amounts so even if your initial capital is small you can still use it as a collateral to make leverage trades while leverage trading can multiply your potential profits it is also subject to high risk especially in the volatile crypto market be careful when using leverage to the market it may lead to sustainable losses if the market moves against your position so always be careful in this video like I said I'm gonna show you how to do it and how you can actually also manage your risk reward with it and more important maybe what you should not do when you go leverage trading if you don't know where to leverage trade because that's the first thing you need to know of course there are multiple platforms where you can do that bybit is a very popular platform kucoin is a very popular platform if you don't have an account there links are in the description of the video you will also get a discount on your trading fees so it's a lot cheaper than if you just randomly sign up to bybit or kucoin yourself so make sure to check that out now let's get into KuCoin is what I use most, what I prefer to use. And let's see how it looks, how it works and what we can do right there. Before we dive in, you have to set your goals. If you do not set your goals, you're just randomly gambling and then the chances that you lose your money are a lot higher. So what should your goal be? For example, my goal is to make around $50 every single day to, you know, cover my living expenses like groceries, like gifts, and maybe even like fines if somebody decides that this is financial advice and want to sue me for that so therefore you have to set your goals now if I want to make $50 every single day do I need 500 or a thousand dollars to start with no you don't need that much money let me show you what you actually need like I said I will be using KuCoin you can basically use buy Binance Bybit KuCoin whatever you like but I just love KuCoin because it has a good overview um, it's quick it has a lot of coins that you can use to leverage trade. You can do this on phone, what I usually use, but you can do this on PC as well. If you want to leverage trade, you can go to the button derivatives. Sorry if I pronounce stuff wrong, but I'm Dutch still, so that's what I do. And then you can choose to go to the futures classic. You can leverage trade here up to 100x. So 100x leverage. I will show you exactly what this means and what the risk is if you want to do something like that. Because um, that's not always the greatest idea to do. First, by the way, if you have money in your KuCoin account, you have a main account, you have a trading account, and you have your futures account, make sure to transfer some USDT to your futures account. Otherwise, there won't be any money right here. Okay, so that's the first thing that you really need to do. Then, here you can see all the different coins you can use to leverage trade. Now, what you can do is, for example, see the 24-hour change. So if you filter on that, you'll see that uh, Yield Guild Games, for example, is down 13%. So if we go there, um, then you can actually see that it went down quite a bit in the last hour, right? So that's a good way to find out like, okay, what coin has some upside potential here? Because this could recover as well, depending on the news why it came down, of course, if something very bad happened. So always do your research on why something is down first. For example, I was using Solana and Kusama. Solana came down quite a bit. They had a problem, but I know Solana is a good project, so I'm not worried about that. So Solana came down quite a lot. This is the hourly chart that I'm looking at. For example, you can also use the four hour or the 15 minute chart. But if you are leverage trading, you know, you want to get in and out and make some quick cash to cover the expenses of the day. For example, I wouldn't go on to the daily chart or the, you know, three days or weekly chart because that's too, you know, big of a time frame. So I like to use the hour chart when it comes to leverage trading. Now I saw that Solana was sitting at around, well, this level right here, and it came all the way down here. So 15% is what it came down. I feel like, okay, 
Is Solana that bad of a project? Nah, it's not. It will come up again. Okay, so let's go on a slightly higher time frame though to see if it's sitting on a support level. And as we can see right here, this is a pretty big support level that it's sitting on right now, right? So I started uh, to put a uh, long in because I feel like Solana can go up. So I started my long. And for now, it's doing pretty great. If we look at the hour chart, like I said, this is the pump right here. So how to use this? Now, the first thing, like I said, set your goal. How much money do you want to earn daily? Let's say you want to have $30 every single day to cover your groceries, for example. I don't know. Then, you know, okay, I got to make $30. How much money do I actually need right here? That depends because you can leverage 1x, you can leverage 5x, 10x, 15x, and 20x. And as far as I know, you can even leverage 100x right here, but let's not talk about that. That's something you really should not do in my opinion. So I, I use 5x. What does it mean? Let's for example, say that Solana from this point, you know, what, what, what will the, the, the next resistance level be for Solana? Well, I think somewhere around here might be the next resistance level, right? So how much percent is this that we can go up from here? This is around 1.3%, okay? So that's not really a big, but you know, that's on the shorter time frame. If we really go on the higher time frame, then I would say that Solana can come up, up to here, right? Okay, that, that's more realistic. So how much is that from this position at the moment? It is around 11%, All right? So if we put in a long position now, a 1X for example, or we just buy Solana, then we go up 11%. But if we use a leverage with 5X, it means that for every percent Solana goes up, we get 5%. The downside, however, as well, is that how the higher you set this, the, the faster the chances that you will get liquidated. Because if I say it go up, it goes up and it comes down, then my position is coming down five times as fast as well. And then I have a little, I don't have much room for me to get liquidated. So therefore we also gonna talk about target points and stop losses so you do not lose all your money, which is I think the thing that I learned most from all of this. So let's take a look first. So let's say, um, just a random number, you have uh, a 10% gain coming for Solana. You expect, you read the chart, you feel like, okay, this might go up, might go up here, right? Big resistance. Okay, so that's an 11%. But I'm leverage trading 5X. So what's 11 times five? That's 55, right? So let's say 50%. Okay, 50% gains for this trade. I wanna make $30, right? So how much money do I have to put in here? I have to put in $60. Because if you make 50% on your $60, you have $30. Then you are already good for today, right? So you do not need a lot of money. You can also say, I wanna use a 10X leverage, a lot more risk. But then you only need $30, right? Because if you do a 10% on a 10X, that's 100%, so you double your money. You can also say like, okay, now nah, I'm gonna use uh, 5X, but I am uh, expecting a 5% pump, right? But I'm gonna use $120. So that's also possible. It's all, all how, how you, you want to manage your risk reward uh, in this case. Like I said, I, I like to use the 5X because it gives me a lot of room. As you can see right here, I have a Solana long sitting right here and I have a Kusama long sitting right here. For now, my goal is around $50 every day. Doesn't have to be with one trade, right? So I have $22 here and $12 right here. So I have like $35 right now. And that's the first trade of the day. So I'm basically only sitting 15, you know, dollars away from my goal. So I can close it right now. I can, because there is a little resistance level where we are sitting right now. Just a little one, not too crazy, but I can close it and I do have my profits and then I can just wait to see what happens. Will it get rejected or will it break out? I can, but if it, you know, gets rejected right here, then I'm gonna wait for it to bounce back and go up again, right? And there is where I buy. 
If it breaks out, I buy the breakout. It's also possible. For now, and I have to see. It's also just a matter of feeling and like, okay, is this for now just enough for me to uh, reach my goal at the end of the day? Like I said, it is kind of hard because you are predicting the future right here, right? That's basically what you do. That's why it's also called futures. You're saying it goes up or it comes down, right? So if you do not really know how to do that, then you should really start reading charts. If you want me to, I can make more videos about that as well. So I can show you how to, you know, and it's not so hard if you want to do the basics like resistance and support. And these two resistance, support, plus maybe one trend line is already enough to give you a you know good education about how chart reading works and how you can actually predict what might be coming. And you never know, of course, but it's usually it works. And look, this can also be a part of your strategy, right? Because I am longing Kusama and Solana right now. Both altcoins, both kind of moving the same way though. And now Solana is sitting at a resistance point. I feel like, okay, I might just close Solana right here. So if you want to close your position, you can say I want to limit close. So when the price hits uh, that amount, then it's going to close. Or you can just do a market close and you're closing your position as it is right now. So I'm gonna close it for 100%. Then I will at least have my $21 locked. So here we go, just did it. I just made $20, which is already enough to buy some groceries, but I need some diapers, for example, for my baby as well. So we are not done for today. Now, how to actually make sure that you do not lose your money. Therefore, I would like to show you the Kusama chart right here because I haven't done this yet, so I can set it up while we are discussing this, okay? So, what are we going to do? You have to set a stop loss. You can also take profits on a TP target point, but a stop loss is very important. Um, I can show you an example if you do not set your stop loss. A couple of months ago when I was too ignorant and didn't set stop losses, I was shorting a coin, Ape, and uh, didn't end well for me because they had a pump. I lost $2,400 right here and I lost another $3,000 right there. And it can be very profitable. I mean, if you look at this right here, this is the 22nd of uh, March, if you look at my trades right here, in one day, $24, $500, $40, $30, $10, $30, $20, $36, $25. $20, so it can go very well, but it was all gone in one wipe in the same day. So therefore, I just wanted to show you this. Set your stop losses. So how to set your stop loss? Well, if you're already trading and you want to set your stop loss, you can see right here, take profits and stop loss, and you can edit it right here. Here, if you make a new uh, trade, you can just fill in the trade right here and you can uh, say, I want a target point stop loss of long or a short. So let's say you want to buy or long, it does, you know, uh, long or short. It depends on your case, what you are doing at the moment, then you can set that. And if you click that, you can say, okay, at this pr uh, price, I want to take my profits automatically. And at this price, I want to set a stop loss. So let's actually do it for my trade so you can see how you do it. So first you want to take a look at the chart, of course. Um, I'm longing Kusama right here, right? So I started my long, um, let me see, entry price at 71.60. Here is why I opened my long and it's now sitting right here. So that's looking pretty nice. Now. Where do I want to take my profits? Well, how much do I want to earn? Okay, let's take a look at the chart again. So where can it go? I started it right here. And what looks like a resistance level? This looks like a big resistance level right here, which is just 2% above, right? But on the other hand, I'm doing a 5X leverage, two and a half times five is 12 and a half. So 12 and a half percent for me, I'm doing this with $150 in this case. So here you see $730 is the value because it's times five. So I can make quite a lot of money out of it with just a little pump as you can see right now. So first, where do I wanna set my stop loss? It may go, may go down, it may go to this support point right here, which is under my entry price. So I will be in loss then, but I won't lose a lot right here, right? However, if it breaks down, you'll see that there is no support here, right? There is nothing from support. So we have to zoom out a little bit to see, okay, what's the next support level? That will be around here, $68. 
because I will get liquidated at $59, uh, $59, okay? I don't want that. I don't see it go to $59, but I'm not daring to bet on it. So where will it be a big support? This will be a big support. If this breaks, it will come down a lot more. I don't want that. So I'm setting my stop loss right under the support, which is $68. Mm, yeah, $68 and always have some room for fake outs, all right? So I'm gonna set my stop loss at $68. Um, so that's here, confirm that. So now it means that if it goes to $68, it will, you know, uh, well, cash out my, 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 my position and I will be in some loss, but not a big loss because you can also calculate that. I started here and if it goes to $68, then it's a 5% loss times five and I have a 25% loss. Well, that's that that's doable for me, okay? That's better than 100% loss. Even this is probably too much, but well, still. Then I wanna take some profits as well, of course, because I cannot look at the chart all day, right? I can take my profits right now. I have $15, which is quite nice. I made 10% because I, I, I started with, you know, $150. I made 10% with this 2% pump right here. Awesome. Where do I wanna take my profits? Well, let me see, what's a, you know, here it's sitting at a resistance point right now, uh, almost. So yeah, we have to see what happens. I can take my profits at the moment and I'm secure, but what can also happen is if we zoom out a little bit, what's the next big resistance point? Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where do all the lines come together? We'll be around. Here, $80, right? $80, some, something like that. If you take a look at this, $80. So this is kind of a resistance point. So I expect that if it pumps even further and it breaks to this support, uh, resistance level right here, which could happen, that it goes up all the way here and then get rejected, okay? So how much of a pump is that in the first place? It's a 10% pump. So that's 50% for me from this point, okay? Quite nice, let's go for that. So at $80, slightly before that, so let's say 79.8. So take profit at 79.8, confirm. Now I basically don't have to do anything because what is my risk reward ratio right here at this moment? Well, I put in $150, right? If it comes down, we already calculated, I lose 25% of these holdings. So the downside is that I lose 37 and a half dollars at max the upside is from where i started it up till here and i take my profits right there it's 12 and a half percent if we do 12 and a half percent uh yeah time 12 and a, uh, 12 and a half sorry times five which is 62 percent 62 and a half percent times my 150 dollars means that i can you know get 93 dollars out of this trade this is far more than my goal is for this trade so is it realistic to set my stop loss right there or to set my target point right there well not really basically and it might never come there so in that case i also can say oh you know what this might look like a re uh, big resistance level so we set it right here at 73 dollars because that's two and a half percent pump so that's 12 and a half percent gains for me times my $150 is $18.75. Well, that's a pretty decent profit, right? Because I also had my Solana trade, which I just closed. And if I then, you know, get this one, I already have my target for today. So that's around $15 profit. I'm now sitting at $13 profit and I know I'm staring at the screen all day. So I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna close it now, I think, because I'm basically already sitting there, right? And I'm actively going to do some trading today. So in that case, I feel like, okay, let's close it up. Market close, 100%, all good. Cancel that order, all good, all good. I just took my money. So I'm out of my positions right now. So as you can see right here, I just made $20 plus $11. So $31 is what I earned. Now I have another $20 to go. This was my first trade of the day. Very doable, right? So one example, I just want to open up a trade right now and then move on because I already opened this trade. So as you can see, I just closed them. I wanna open a new trade just to show you how it works. And because I still have $20 to earn, right? So 
just from scratch, let's go for that. So let's go to the trade section and see what we can trade right here. So let's take a look what has changed a lot. So Kusama down, but we just traded that. I'm not gonna open a new one right here. Might go up, but I feel like, nah, that's been done right now. So let's go with, um, well, Yield Guild Games, for example. How is this looking? Well, this is looking like it came down and it's now sitting at a, well, sometimes it's hard to tell, like, is it support, is it resistance? It looks like it's sitting at its support and it might go up quite a bit, right? I think it can go up around, uh, somewhere around here. How much percent is that exactly? Let me just think out loud right now. I think it might go up around, somewhere around here. So that's a 5% move, okay? A 5% move. I need $20, right? If I make a 5% move on a 5% leverage, then it means that I'm gaining 25%, but I need $20. So I can throw in $80 right now, just $80. And with a 5% move, I have my $20 and I can get out. So I'm gonna open my short. I just click last because then they take the last price. I'm going to put in $80. So 80, um, that's the Yield Guild game. So that's 40, so 70, 55, 140, or well, let's say 140, all right? So I'm gonna take at the last price, 140, leverage five, and I'm going to long this one right here, right now. So let's go for that. So my order is in right now. Now, I also, you know, want to set a stop loss just in case and a target point. So where is my stop loss? Well, if it breaks through here, then it can come down right here, and I don't want that. So this is going to be my stop loss. 50 seven cents is going to be my stop loss. So let's put that in uh, 0 0.57, okay? Not that far from here. I know there's a lot of room. It can, you know, trigger very quickly, but in that case, I don't lose a lot. So it's all good. What's my target uh, point? What's my taking profit? Whatever TP stands for. Um, well, like I said, this is a very realistic move right here. So that's 65 cents somewhere around that. So let's go with the uh, take profit at 0 0.65. Here we go. Confirm that. There it is. So I don't have to do anything. Either I lose a little money or I gain a lot of money. So that, that's basically how you do it. If you find this video useful, please let me know by liking the video. Leave a comment on how you are trading, what you are trading exactly. If you use margin trading as well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. I will make more videos of these because we need, you know, this money in the crypto bear market to prepare for the bull market. Bro, I swear, if you watch this video, you are going to make it. Now guys, trade safe. See you soon. Bye.